a muscle. The Jurassic Park film franchise has been entertaining audiences for over 25 years now. Sure, not every film was totally worth the price of admission, but the dinosaurs always have been. This video is an ode to our favorite reptilian monsters. We'll be judging them by how much of a threat they pose. This includes intimidation factor, general attributes, and survival features. We're gonna go ahead and address one thing, though. The ability to Freddy Krueger into a dream and speak will not be counted. Alan! With that out of the way, let's rank some dinos. Here's the thing about the Comsonathus. It's tough to pronounce this little guy's name. Imagine looking for dinosaur bones and coming across this species. Max length for this bipedal reptile is 4.6 feet. So yeah, the Compsonathus long pipes can only reach the size of a Thanksgiving turkey. They really don't inspire mass panic or fear. On the surface, there's no real reason to feel afraid of the Compsonathus. Heck, where it even tends to pick one up and cuddle it. That is, if you're one of those people into pet snakes. Yeah, you know you are. Just picture yourself on a beautiful remote beach with your wealthy parents. You take some roast beef with you on a little walk around. You see those adorable dinos walking around on their short stumpy legs. You feed it and it's, oh, it's just so cute. No, oh, look, oh, 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 oh God, oh, they're terrifying. Uh, quick, uh, cue the next entry, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Props to the people who named this prehistoric reptile. Carnotaurus means meat-eating bull in Spanish. Some of you just realized that bulls don't eat meat and that's okay. The point is the Carnotaurus gets its name from those distinctive horns up on its head. We're not sure why they have those horns, but if we had to guess, we'd say they were partly for intimidation. After all, they're a bit small to be super effective in a fight. Regardless, the genetic makeup of this beast is just wild. An adult Carnotaurus can reach 30 feet in length and max out at 6,600 pounds. That makes them the second most destructive Toro Rosso in history. Uh, so that was a mean joke, but some of our viewers out there will know that it's true. The Carnotaurus is an aggressive hunter with fighting instincts. So what do you get when you add all this together? You get a dinosaur that's still no match for a T-Rex. Dilophosaurus stands as the two-crested lizard, which sounds way less cool if we're being real. At every turn, people are there to put these dinosaurs down. For instance, did you know these lizards can reach lengths of 23 feet? They even end up weighing around 880 pounds. Now they're still considered tiny for a dinosaur, but these guys are more significant than Jurassic Park made them seem. However, from what we can tell, the Dilophosaurus works best when it's underestimated. Face it, on the surface, those things are simple and unassuming. Their goal is to lure you into range. They want you to investigate them. You know, we're building to Nedry's great escape and is running with this incredible beast. Oh, nice boy. Oh, nice boy! He treats this carnivore like a rat that he can shoo away. Then the second he provokes it, it shoots up like a mutated peacock. Oh, wow, that's actually kind of pretty. And oh god, not again. At least this time it happened to a villain and not an innocent child, Baryonyx. There's only one real weakness that the Baryonyx has. Justice Smith screams. <laughs> Yes, dear viewer, it turns out the cries of Justice Smith are enough to momentarily confuse this creature. The results are shocking, and scientists confirm that your baryonyx may start attacking chairs if confronted with the noise. If you or your beloved baryonyx have suffered from these screams, leave a comment below in solidarity. Luckily for this creature, Smith wasn't always around to scream at it. The baryonyx actually lived during the early Cretaceous period. Its name means long claw, which definitely suits the animal's features. Believe it or not, the adult version can actually outmatch the Carnotaurus in length by about 3 feet. However, they're much lighter at a max of 3,300 pounds. We know what you're thinking. Yeah, the Baryonyx looks super similar to a crocodile. That long snout and the sharp isolated teeth aren't helping comparisons either. Turns out the Baryonyx likely had a semi-aquatic lifestyle. They would have coexisted with crocodiles and other early versions of that family. If you ever doubt the threat raptors pose in the Jurassic universe, just remember, they can do this. Alan! All right, we promise we won't do it again. We just can't help but use that clip. It's iconic. Still, we want to focus more on the dangers the raptors have been in these films. 
After all, they're more than just a clever girl now. Raptors can open doors in Jurassic Park. That fact alone is terrifying. Even more upsetting is the thought that velociraptors have feathers. It's more like a big bird with teeth chasing you. You're not safe anywhere. All this fear was amplified by Alan's speech in Jurassic Park, but then Chris Pratt had to go and ruin it by training him. Let's get real. The minute the raptor did a 180 and turned good, it was over. The raptors still have an extraordinary record in the film franchise of finishing off characters, though. They just work for the good guys now, which stunted their potential to get higher on this list. See, it's not just the talking raptor that lowered their spot. T-Rex. You're shocked. You have to be, and that's okay. The T-Rex is the poster child of the franchise. Putting him down here feels like blasphemy, but trust us, it's the right move. The four dinosaurs ahead of it earned their place, but let's use this entry to actually talk about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. We don't want to waste time justifying the position. It's a myth that these animals can't see you if you don't move. There's actually no way to prove that based on the fossils that have been recovered. So when you run into a 20-foot tall, 31,000-pound T-Rex, you better scooby-doo it right out of there. Oh, pretty sandwich. Standing still is not gonna do squat against a T-Rex. In most of the films, the T-Rex is the top of the food chain. No Jurassic movie is complete without a cameo from this big bad boy. However, by the third film, the studios wanted to refresh the big bad evil dino. The poor T-Rex was cast aside and replaced by a massive threat in the third movie. Press F to pay respect. <laughs> So that dinosaur in the last entry, yeah, that's a Spinosaurus. Can you guess what the name Spinosaurus stands for? It's pretty apparent, actually. It merely means spine lizard. How come every time we call a dinosaur lizard, it feels way less threatening? Back to Spinosaurus, though, because its ability to defeat the T-Rex is pure movie magic. They do reach a taller max height of 23 feet, but they weigh significantly less. Try 14,000 fewer pounds. Sure, the Spinosaurus is definitely more agile. Still, the T-Rex should be able to leverage against it in close range. If only the two were still around to actually sort this controversy out. One thing the Spinosaurus has going for it is the fact that it's not a picky eater. The Spinosaurus is gonna eat anything, including airplane food. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? <laughs> you know the binger isn't above airplane food jokes, but we do recognize how lame they are. We do it for you, though. It's all for you. Alan. Oh, the mighty Mosasaurus saves us from airplane food jokes with your fantastic stature. For those unfamiliar, the Mosasaurus are among the most giant dinosaurs, spanning 56 feet in length. Picture this mammoth of a monster swimming towards you. It's terrifying just to imagine. To give perspective, Bruce, the shark from Jaws, is said to max out at 25 feet in length. This dinosaur doubles that. We're pretty sure Bruce is just happy to be mentioned in this list, though, to be fair. These guys sound like what would happen if Free Willy went feral. Yeah! It gets crazier, though, because the Mosasaurus had a double-hinged jaw. That means it would digest its prey just like a snake does. So the Mosasaurus can eat just about anything it wants. However, in Jurassic World, the prehistoric predators seem to get a real craving for crappy babysitter. Remember, this list is about dangerous dinosaurs in Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. All that means is fictional dinosaurs are not off the table here. We can include the Indominus Rex here for that exact reason. The Indominus Rex is burdened by a lame name and lack of screen time. The beast is also only about 20 feet tall and weighs around 8 tons as well. Those things factored together will leave you doubting its placement, but look at the facts. On paper, this dinosaur is the top hunter in the food chain. It may not always hold a size advantage, but its cuttlefish DNA allows it to hide in its surroundings. The Indominus Rex is the next stage of evolution for dinosaurs. Granted, it's artificial evolution, but it still counts. It stinks that some want to penalize this monster for its lack of screen time. We don't get to see this creature max out their potential, but we're putting it here for what could have been. Indoraptor. There's a reason we gave the Indoraptor the number one spot. Size-wise, this dinosaur is nothing special. Indoraptors are basically a slightly buffed Velociraptor. The real kicker is the gene spliced into it. This monster is a combination of the Indominus Rex and a Raptor. That means all the intelligence of a Raptor with the survival abilities of the Indominus Rex. Picture Hannibal Lecter fused with a camouflaging Velociraptor. And how did you catch me? Ah, that's what you get out of the Indoraptor. 
Oh, yeah, we almost forgot. Imagine all that, and it's attracted to lasers. Yeah, weird hobby, but we're not questioning it. And there you have it. All your favorite dinosaurs ranked. We hope you enjoyed comparing all these prehistoric lizards with us. Did we miss your favorite? Tell us in the comments. Of course, subscribe and like this video to show your support for the binger. Here's one more as a thank you. Alan! Ah, uh, Alan! Uh, Alan!